Howdy, my name is Omiel Lent, and this is our Let's Play of EU4 as Russia, built from Novgorod. When we left off, we had gotten out of a war with Hungary, um, Bohemia, and Lithuania, and managed to pick up these two provinces. Nope, just this province. When we left off, I had noticed that this province is already considered a core of our vassal. That could be pretty good for perhaps taking this province and giving this province to our vassal because the Polish tradition makes coring costs very high and this already has a tremendous space tax. It would be huge overextension. If we just were to give this to our vassal, that would be so much better because once we annex our vassal, we'll get these provinces back um, cored, which will deal with this increased scoring cost, cost for Poland quite nicely. Now, unfortunately, if we want to continue into any of the Poling, Polish provinces or Bohemian provinces or Hungarian provinces, they all have these increased scoring costs. I'm not really positive what I'm going to do about it. What I think I'm going to do is when I take a Polish province from Bohemia, I'm going to go ahead and give it to my vassal slowly one at a time. Now, I don't know if my vassal will take this province or not. Something tells me no because they won't have the land border to it. But they'll take this province, for example, if I were to ever get in another war with Bohemia. On the alliance front, we still have our alliance with Austria, which has pulled us into many wars, but we're working on getting an alliance with France. They feel friendly toward us and would be great allies. Now, the British are our allies and they're not gonna like that, but we're already allied with one of their rivals, which is Austria. So when we ally with another rival, I don't think you get a double bon uh, double penalty. Now, if I had to choose between Austria and England, I'd obviously choose England. English fleet is super important. The Netherlands is the other people we're trying to ally with. However, they haven't improved relations with us. And Munster is also a good potential ally. These guys are no longer our allies, they broke their alliance with us as part of their peace settlement with Mainz, who are at war with us currently. I don't really feel like we need to be allies with these guys. This is a much better alliance choice for us. So France and Munster, Denmark, I mean, not Denmark, the Netherlands, all to be our coalition, unofficial coalition, against Denmark. So that should work out pretty well, because we do want to get in a war with Denmark now, because they don't have that quarrying issue. Although the price of fur has plummeted. Oh no, it's back up. That's right, it's plummeted in my Japan Let's Play somehow. As soon as the new world is taken over, it'll start to plummet. Oh my. Korea had been doing really well, but now it looks like Japan is doing quite well. Yeah. Oof. Well, they even think of us as a competitor for world domination, so they're really serious over there. Okay. What we're going to do as soon as our diplomat gets back is declare on Poland. We want probably take Warsaw. It'll give us the. Um, if we end up having to fully annex, it'll give us 50% cost needed for that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Hmm. Spread of Protestantism. Where is this place? Sandro.
Well, it had to have been Orthodox at some point because we're working to make it Russian. That's good that we got that in. We should probably work to make everything our culture as soon as we can. Or an accepted culture. I'm not gonna swap out accepted cultures. This making it Russian, we couldn't do if they had been if they had been Protestant before. However, now that they're going to be Russian, it'll be easier to swap them back to being Orthodox. Oh, here's a little trick. You get a bonus only at four. A uh, sieging bonus only at four. So it's one and two and three are equivalent as far as artillery go, but the fourth matters. Oh, I, I guess the sixth matters with these guys. Hmm, with some sort of, they must have better walls. Well, the cutoff was for one point. The Teutonic Order wants military access. They're at war with Poland. We're gonna not give them military access. Reason being, I want Poland. Pretty, pretty clear reason. Now, the Livonian Order is also at war with Poland. No, they're at war with. They're at war with Mance, which we're also at war with. So, that's good. I'd like to get to peace with these guys. Will, will they peace me now? Mance will peace me. I have nothing to gain from them, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept their peace. I think I'm the war leader here. Yep. As far as our war against... Hmm? Oh, interesting. This war we just declared against Poland is not going to turn out the way we wanted. We need to call England into this war, because Denmark joined it too. I didn't even notice. That's going to be problematic. Let's see, who else can we call in? Who else are our allies? We could call in Austria. Unfortunately, Denmark got made the war leader. So... Thought I sent a stack of troops up here. Who are they at war with? They want military access. I'm gonna go ahead and accept. This is a little bit earlier to be in a war. I actually don't think I'll be able to make a separate peace with Poland. The way it works is that you can't make a separate peace with the can't make a separate peace with the one who is the target of the war goal. Do you guys want peace? Sure, we'll go ahead and make peace. Okay, now that we're at peace with them, I'm gonna go ahead and send... But when I get the diplomat, you'll see. You cannot make a separate peace with someone who's the target of the war goal. So what could happen here is kind of interesting. I could get... Um, I could get... This could work out really well, because I'll gain ticking war score against Denmark by controlling Warsaw. 
And there's almost no way that Denmark is going to get in here to help them out. I'll get Ticking Warscore for holding Warsaw, and then I can... It won't be 100% of Warscore to fully annex Poland. It'll probably be something like 32 Warscore or something. Oh, I need to make... I need to get that military attack, don't I? Oh. Huh. I can't get the military attack. I'm at my cap, but I can't get the military attack. So what I'm going to do is go over here. Got a really good general in my leader. I'm just going to go ahead and buy another general. He's not any good. Buy another general. He's got pretty good siege. So yeah, the way this is going to work is I'm going to try to get as much of a war goal for controlling Warsaw as possible and then use this to gain not only Polish provinces but also Danish provinces. Now I can't, oh I can get over there for some reason. I guess because they're allied with England and I'm at war with England, I don't, yeah I don't really know. Um, even though I can, I'm actually not going to. I'm going to send my troops up here. I'm going to send my troops up here. So yeah, this, this navy is far too big for me to deal with. Only the English ever really could deal with the Danish fleet. Maybe the Netherlands, I'm not quite sure. Maybe, maybe a combination of France and Spain and Portugal could have done something. Ah, England is back to really liking us. Friendly, even. Interesting. I wonder why. Maybe this war that we've pulled them into. I told you that, uh... Unlike Crusader Kings 2, where, the, um, where your allies will hate you for calling you into a war. In this game, they kind of like you. They like gain more liking of you. Hmm, so this is bad. Unlike in a typical or in previous wars with Denmark where all of their troops got caught over here, looks like this time that all their troops got caught over here. So I'm really just going to rely on... I'm really just going to rely on gaining war score for controlling this war goal. And I'm going to try to occupy these 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 two provinces as long as they're in my trade zone that I'm interested in. Yeah. These two, maybe this this one as well. Three the fur provinces. I should have very low overextension. Yeah. Only four. Like I said, the way it works is for every base tax, you get four overextension. So with a base tax of only one, you get an overextension of only four. Oh, they're actually using their troops. I'm not going to be fabricating any claims. I have the best causes Bella that I've seen. No need to fabricate claims. So these two provinces will be the first two that I try to take. Let me go ahead and put the six siege general in charge. This should be pretty good. Hmm, that's kind of annoying.
I guess I don't actually need that for the war goal, so what I'll probably do is I'll take these provinces up here. The Cremaria always has that causes spell like as their tartar. So might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lose this <clears throat> province to those rebels. Ah, oh, messed up. I do want a general. Manpower is getting a little low. Been a lot of wars recently. The six siege. Oh no, it's six maneuver. He's six maneuver. Ugh, I'm so silly. He's four siege. The other guy's two siege. Okay. I wondered why it wasn't really high, really, really good number there with a six siege, but because he's not. Crimea declared war. Ugh, oh. declared war on Lithuania. What's the base tax in this province? Four. So they will possibly be able to convert it, which is no good. But it does mean that there's now a province that the Tartars control. Two provinces, it looks like. That they control that I'm interested in. Which means I'd actually like to get in a war with them. They are allied with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans might actually jump in a war with us. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna give the Ottomans the military access for two reasons. One, they're at war with Denmark, and two, they can't declare on me without canceling that military access. So. See, that made them back off. Now, now Mance is actually declared on Denmark, so Denmark's in three wars. Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this bounce back and forth thing. Munster declared war over here. That's good. Munster's gonna be my ally, hopefully. And if they're stronger, that's good. Okay, so those guys have walked away now. Now these Patriots are a little bit more serious. These Patriots might require, like, actual attention. So what I might do... Hmm, I don't know exactly what the right move is. I definitely want to go deal with those guys and... I see, I can't ask for this to be returned. I can't get those quite yet.
20 now. So they would give me War Sub, but not... Mm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna wait. Like I said, I'm gaining the Ticking War score. As long as I keep gaining that Ticking War score. I see France would make an alliance with us. That would be really strong. Now Venice would also make an alliance with us, but I don't know about Venice. We might have to break our alliance with Austria. <coughs> Austria is really sucking right now. Yeah. Go ahead and dissolve the alliance with Austria. No. I'm not. I have to think I had to think about it. I don't think I'm actually going to. So these Danish troops are now here, which means that I think that that was the hunter stack I was dealing with before. So I'm actually going to send the fast guy to stop this siege. Hmm. Yeah, I need to send a, a stack down there to deal with all that. Oh no! This, uh, the fast guy died. Now I got some guy that's not nearly as good. Okay. Well, I have another high maneuver. I have another high maneuver general I can give them. Bohemia wants military access? For why? I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. Maybe they'll take care of some rebels or something. I don't know for sure. Yeah, like I said, I think this was the stack that was pestering me before, and they're now trapped on that island. They can't leave either direction because this sea is controlled. That's actually really clever of England if they did that on purpose. <laughs> I'm going to have to remember that. That island and this island are both... No, this island not so much. You'd have to have two fleets. This island, yeah, definitely. Where are they retreating to? They're retreating to right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. No survivors. Now these rebels, probably not gonna get there in time for those rebels. These rebels I probably will get there in time. So I said I wanted these three provinces. These are three fur producing provinces with low base taxes. Yep. That's what I want. <coughs> Ideally I'd take both of these Polish provinces and those three Danish provinces. Because of the low base tax they won't be giving me um, overextension problems. Oh you can tell this, is a, this was at one point a colony because it has a non-even number base tax. Only way I've seen that to happen is colonies. Oh, somehow these troops got free. They decided to go over here. Okay. I definitely want to pick up this idea group because the next thing I'm going to do is pick up a colonial idea group. We discussed it, um, potential contenders could be this one, because it reduces technology cost by 5%, it's pretty strong, it's definitely strong, but I don't really want any diplomatic technologies, 
So I want a diplomatic idea, and I think even though this would be really powerful, considering we're the Merchant Republic, it would make trade ideas very powerful. And someone mentioned it in the the chat that it would, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. It still gives us one merchant as opposed to three, but importantly it gives us a colonist. So we can start making these colonies. Some of these provinces are really profitable, and if they're European, they'd be super powerful. Um, they'll be giving us higher score increase than just having a few more merchants. Not as much money, but more to the score. I really don't want this pro I guess I really don't want any of these provinces taken over, but this province is pretty dangerous to get taken. Oh my, hmm. Quite a few rebels over here. So it looks like all of my diplomats are free. I'm gonna go ahead and improve relations over here. As well as with the potential ally we have in Venice. Hmm, England's not pleased anymore, they're just cordial. Okay. I'm going here because it was close by. But I really do want to make it to this... Oh, and they're actually going to retreat into Bohemia, which is great because they'll siege that province. Hmm, I'm in a bit of a bind here. I can't actually march on this province until my troops are fully healed. Yep, see? Polish freedom fighters, and since this is a Polish province, they'll, they'll try to take that province first. It's a good fighting general, so they should be able to take these guys out. I just have to wait a few months. So let's see what I can get here. I could get both of the Polish provinces and the two provinces, two of the three that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and let these rebels just sit there for a while, that's fine. And I'm going to wait until I get this province, putting the, yeah, putting the siege general, yep. Polish pro, Polish. Oh, this is great. So, I don't know if you know this, but um, different types of rebels will fight each other. So these are Polish patriots and these are peasants. These are peasants. Um, which is, these peasant rebel risk is actually coming from Poland. Okay, so at the first of the month, I might start marching. Sweden? Ah, interesting. Sweden is, has an independence war with Denmark right now. Hello, Sweden. Sweden considers this to be a core, so Sweden could reasonably support rebels in these provinces, giving me a little bit of a headache there. Not exactly ecstatic about Sweden being formed, but... Okay, here goes something. I don't know if I'll win this. Okay, I did. For some reason they're not retreating. Okay, so let's see if I can get the piece that I'm looking for. I can. Can I get any money? I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece. Unfortunately, I can't return, like, I can't directly return the core to the people I want. What's this gonna do for relationships with people? Denmark will hate me, Sweden will hate me, England will dislike it.
still gonna do it though. So we should still be okay with Munster, although aggressive expansion is starting to aggressive expansion is starting to um, climb higher and higher. Yeah, we got some aggressive issues with France as well. Sweden entered a coalition against us. I guess that's fine. First thing I'm gonna do is give away Warsaw. 40 over extension from just Warsaw. How much will they pay? They only have 20 money. They would pay a lot more. They just don't have the money. That's fine. Hmm. This is concerning. Every province I have has some revolt risk. That's no good. <sighs> That's actually no good at all. Okay, I'm gonna run all these troops over there. However, my phone is ringing, so I'm gonna take a little break here for this video.